Professor George Albert Magoha is now the nominee Cabinet Secretary for Education. In December last year, he hinted that he could have well been delivering his last speech as the NEC chairman. But besides NEC, who is Professor George Magoha, the surgeon and academic administrator? And what significant contribution has he made in public service? Dr. Swangera with that report. Professor George Albert Omore Magoha became the chairman of the Kenya National Examinations Council on March 9, 2016. The KCSC exam results of that year were a turning point. NEC recorded zero cases of cheating, down from 5,101 in the previous year. This year, there was no cheating, there was no monkey business. Only 141 candidates scored A plane. This was hailed by many as the beginning of the end of the culture of cheating, exam cartels and making the A grade great again. At the same time, not questioned the credibility of the results and the abnormal curve. But Magoha remained firm in his crusade against exam irregularities. If we find out that there is early exposure, whether that school is in my home area, and whether my grandchild is there, and what he calls Kenya's obsession with A's. We are dealing with a small group of cartels which include center managers whose job is to attempt to expose the exam before it is done. Our aim here is not to punish any child, but to transform the child. In 2017 and 2018, however, more cheating cases were recorded. Magoha was often referred to as a no-nonsense man, moreover focused on other issues. He did not shy away from being vocal about issues such as teenage pregnancy, opposing the abolition of boarding schools. Let us allow our children to understand, because unfortunately what they have access to is pornographic material in the internet. And I would also urge those with authorities and powers to consider blocking those pornographic sites. Before rising to the helm of NEC, the 67-year-old Kenyan surgeon has had an illustrious career in public service as an academic administrator, professor of transplant surgery, and an honorary consultant urologist at the University of Nairobi's College of Health Sciences. He served for 10 years from January 2005 to January 2015. During his tenure, the University of Nairobi achieved excellent rating for government institutions. It experienced phenomenal growth and improved the quality of its academic programs, infrastructure and work environment under his watch. At the University of Nairobi here where we teach medicine, we admit 500 and of those 500, 50% of them are fake. Do you understand? Fake because somehow me and you we have been corrupted. He joined the university as a lecturer in 1988 and rose through the ranks to become a full professor of surgery in 2000. He is also the chairman of the Kenyan Medical Practitioners and Dentists Board, where he has been a member since 1999. He has also been a commissioner in the Commission for Higher Education. Magoha has been honored internationally and locally. He has received the Moran of the Burning Spear Award, the elder of the Burning Spear Award, and he is often one who has expressed his lack of interest in politics. Many care familiar with his record believe he's the best choice for the education ministry if you are going to collude on 11 questions and you only get one right what kind of teacher are you his immediate predecessor ambassador Mina Muhammad leaves behind discontent with the higher education's loans board repayment plan 100 percent transition challenges higher education fees rising crisis in her one year three months tenure and the crisis in the move to the competency-based curriculum just how different will professor Magoha's tenure be Dorcas Wangira Citizen TV Nairobi